boxing, like many sports, gets enamored with records. This, though, often comes down to context. Many people are fascinated by Rocky Marciano's 49-0 record, having retired as the undefeated heavyweight champion of the world in a relatively short eight-year career. I would like to announce my retirement from boxing at this time. This was topped in the eyes of many by Floyd Mayweather by defeating Conor McGregor in 2017 to retire with a 50-0 record, officially. To the modern naked eye, 50 seems to be an untouchable mark. What if I told you there was a boxer who went 45-0 in one calendar year? Enter the Pittsburgh Windmill, Harry Greb. Harry Greb was born on June 6, 1894 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He was a world middleweight champion who fought from 1913 through 1926. He is estimated to have fought over 300 bouts. Boxrec, with whom we have no affiliation, records him at 108 wins, 8 losses, and 3 draws with 49 knockouts. He had 179 no decision bouts and won no contest. These are only the known recorded fights. The significant outlier is the 179 no decision bouts, which were common during the era as many states had rules preventing a decision from being rendered if a bout did not end via knockout. This resulted in many decisions being left to the newspaper writers in attendance, hence the notion of newspaper decisions. Factoring in the newspaper decisions, Greb won well over 250 bouts during his career. Back to the topic of the video, the year of note was 1919. After a September 21st, 1918 loss to Hall of Famer, the St. Paul Thunderbolt, Billy Miss, Grab would rack up 45 straight victories from January 14, 1919 to December 22, 1919. This included wins over Boxing Hall of Famers, Leo Florian Hawk three times, Battling Levinsky four times, the St. Paul Thunderbolt Billy Misk, the Bayon Globe Trotter Jeff Smith, and the St. Paul Phantom Mike Gibbons. These opponents mentioned combined for a career record of over 919 bouts. Greb's 1919 run also included top level champions and contenders such as Mike Matee, Bill Brennan, and Jacob Soldier Bartfield. To put things into perspective, Floyd Mayweather's 45th bout came 16 years 11 months into his career. Greb's 1919 started 5 years 8 months into his career. The circumstances were of course different, but both at a high level. Fighters during Greb's time fought as often as possible and Greb was one of the most active fighters in boxing history. On top of all that, Greb would not lose again until after 52 straight victories in a May 15, 1920 loss to Hall of Fame light heavyweight and heavyweight contender Tommy Givens via a 10th round newspaper decision. Greb left a legacy as a fighter with arguably the greatest resume in boxing history and 1919 stands out amongst the crowded history as a whole. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.